She'll bow with surprise, but this is your reward. Shell Man chuckled. That's okay, we're like family. When we have something good, we naturally share. Xiao Bao widened his eyes and muttered, Family, like family. Lao Lai cheerfully patted Xiao Nan's head. Ha ha, it's not easy for a kid like you. Wang Bo poured out a pile of food. Come here, Xiao Bao, Xiao Nan. Seeing you two make such effort in learning. These are all rewards for you. You must strive harder in the future. Everyone will have their share. The children cheered excitedly. Miao Ru Yun expressed some concern. Wang Bo. If we eat like this, will there be enough food? Police officer Mio, you can rest assured, there will definitely be enough. Mio Ru Yun didn't say anything further. The items in Wang Bo's bag, after being emptied out today, will be filled again tomorrow. How does he manage to produce so much food? Although I really want to know, if this is his secret, then I shouldn't dwell on it too much. Xiao Nan proudly displayed a rifle, boasting that he knew how to use it. Wang Bo took the rifle, aimed down and Xiao Bao craned his neck to look down and asked, Wang, how many zombies are you planning to eliminate? Xiao Nan replied, Well, it goes without saying. Wang will surely eliminate them all. All right, everyone, keep calm and watch his performance. Then the three continued to shoot incessantly, even into the night, the sound of gunfire persisting. The villagers couldn't help but salivate. Oh my, gunfire from daytime until now. How much ammo do they have? Such strong firepower, is he planning to wipe out all these zombies? The village head sighed inwardly. Are there still people with such full equipment? Despite his fear, he tried to reassure everyone. Don't worry, let's wait a bit longer. Engaging them like this will only attract more zombies, and sooner or later, they'll run out of ammo. Underneath the skeletal building, filled with debris, Wang Bo lay exhausted on the chair, while three others massaged him. Oh, I'm so tired. Please massage me faster. Xiaoyu suggested, Wang, let Xiaoyu help you with the shooting. If you keep this up, you'll exhaust yourself. Ha ha, no need, let me handle these zombies. They serve a great purpose for me. Xiao Bao was curious. Serve a purpose? Wang, what purpose do these zombies serve for you? Of course, I use them to practice shooting. People don't notice, but the headshot ratio is getting higher every day. Xiao Nan's eyes sparkled. Wang. You're truly my idol. Ah, I've counted. You've taken down over 300 already. Wang sighed inwardly. If I want to level up the system, I have to rely on shooting down zombies myself, no matter how exhausting it is. The next morning, Wang Bo let everyone live like it was a vacation, eating and resting as they please. While he continued to clear out zombies, every gunshot attracted another wave of zombies but it also allowed Wang Bo to gain more experience for leveling up the system. The system reminded him, Congratulations, player. Your shooting proficiency has reached level 4, increasing critical hit rate by 150 points, attack burst rate by 150 points, shooting range by 350 meters. To level up again, you need to kill 10,000 ghouls. Your current progress is not over 10,000. Through these days of firearm training, Coupled with the increase in shooting proficiency, his shooting skills now surpassed even police officer Mio's. With the enhanced shooting proficiency, the guns in Wang Bo's hands transformed into hunting rifles. Despite being besieged here for seven days without finding anything valuable, it ironically provided Wang Bo with the opportunity to improve his skills, serving as an unintended achievement. The seventh and final day arrived, and Wang Bo placed a heavy box down. All right, this is all the equipment I brought here this time. Wow, Wang, do you have a magical bag? Where did all these come from? I thought after a few days of eating good food, we'd have to resort to wild greens again. No wonder every time I mention saving, you said it was enough. These things are indeed enough for you to come back to. Not just for a week, but if properly preserved, they can last more than a month adhering to old customs. In the next seven days, everyone just needs to eat well and take care of themselves. I guarantee that in seven days, I'll bring back even more. Trust me, we believe in you. Through the recent period of interaction, I reckon everyone has figured it out. I can indeed bring food to everyone, but these foods require gold and expensive jewelry to exchange for. Although now gold and jewelry cannot compare to survival supplies, I have a way to turn them into valuable assets. When the time is right, I will explain it clearly to everyone. Wang, rest assured, 
Xiao Yu will definitely help you protect this secret. Everyone spoke earnestly. No matter what measures you have, you helped us so much. We will definitely keep this secret for you. Wine Bo, rest assured, even if there were a hundred guns pointed at me, I wouldn't say a word. I'm the same. Wine Bo waved his hand shyly. All right, all right, I understand. You don't need to be so serious. I have to go now. There are still a few zombies left downstairs. Let them be the door guards. Everyone, please stay safe. You too. Wang, take care of yourself. Returning to reality, somewhere in a street corner, Wang Bo sat down amidst the bushes. Hey, system, can you land me back in the real world, perhaps a bit more accurately this time? The system responded, no problem. I'll arrange it better next time. Wang Bo took out his broken phone and checked it. What's been happening lately? I might not be able to keep up with the trends. Sure enough, all the missed calls were from Hongfei and Peng. Wang Bo checked the call history and noticed a missed call from Zhao Shen. He smirked. What does she want from me? Could it be that she's been dumped and wants to chew back old grass? Whatever. Let her be. Let's ask about Hongfei's shop first. Hello, Wang Bo. Where are you? Why couldn't I reach you on the phone? I'm out working. The signal isn't good over here, so I couldn't hear your calls. By the way, have the police come looking for you guys? No. Why would the police look for us? Didn't I already beat up Dong from the Black Tiger Gang? I'm afraid they'll report us to the police. Don't worry. If those hoodlums look for police help, they'll be looked down upon by their own kind. Haha. -ha, that's right. As for my shop matter, I've settled it with Lai Peng. That's settled then. I was just about to ask you. It's too late today. Let's talk tomorrow. Wang Bo just hung up the phone when another call came in. Glancing back, he saw it was Zhao Shen. Hello, Zhao Shen. Are you looking for me? Standing outside the balcony, Zhao Shen asked. Wang Bo, I heard you got injured by Black Tiger Gang's gunshots. Is that true? If it is, what's going on? It seems like it's none of my business to interfere, right? I just wanted to remind you. I know I'm at fault, and I'm not asking for your forgiveness. I just want to tell you, you've gotten yourself into big trouble now, so be careful in the future. Huh. Did that young master lie say that to you? Exactly. Even though he was extremely shocked after finding out you had a gun, neither he nor the Black Tiger gang intend to let it slide like that. It seems like he's hiring an assassin to deal with you, so you have to be careful. Seeing Lai approaching, Zhao Shen greeted him quickly before hanging up the phone. Wang Bo was suspicious. Why is Zhao Shen suddenly so kind? But then again, even though my shooting skills are at level 4, using guns in the current world is really not acceptable. Hiring an assassin to deal with me. If I don't use guns and rely solely on the great strength Vajra Palm, it might not be enough. Wang Bo dialed the system. Hello players, how can I assist you? Wang Bo thought to himself, I need to quickly upgrade my great strength Vajra Palm. That's the fastest way. The system responded. No problem. I'll arrange it right away. Currently, there are 150 kilograms of gold left in the system space, just enough for one withdrawal. Wang Bo calculated. Let's withdraw once first. If it doesn't work out, I'll take 1,000 kilograms from the basement to withdraw 10 times in a row first. Then, I'll wait until I find gold in the apocalypse and supplement it later. Players shouldn't get angry. The system only needs 50,000 kilograms of gold to upgrade. After upgrading, the system will activate trading. So by then, I can directly use gold to exchange for items. The system replied, That's correct. No need to adjust. So withdraw once first, regardless of what you get. Stop there. Gather enough 50,000 kilograms of gold to upgrade. Wang Bo exclaimed the incantation. Actively spin the wheel. Luck will come. With a beep. The screen of the device kept moving continuously, and after a while, the skill book appeared. Wang Bo excitedly shouted, Wow, they're huge! Finally, I'm lucky once. The skill, Supreme Vajra Level 1, increases agility by 5 points. After practicing to the highest level, the speed will be as fast as flying, capable of crossing rivers. Immediately after activation, it can take a step of 3 meters and jump 2 meters high per second, consuming 10 mana. Currently, there are 420 mana points, and the condition for upgrading using the skill is 100 times. Note that each time it's activated, full mana must be charged, and it counts as one activation, 
when all mana is depleted. Wang Bo pointed at the screen. How is this mana calculated? The system replied, Mana is formed based on how many points of spiritual attribute. Each point of spirit is equivalent to 10 mana. Wang Bo's current attribute table. Strength 50 plus 6. Agility 52 plus 6. Stamina 50. Spirit 42. Oh, currently except for the spirit points. The other attributes have reached the normal level in the apocalypse. Now I need to try out this new skill. Wang Bo walked down the street. It's 5 kilometers from here to the city center. How long would it take to get there? Bending down and sprinting off. Wang Bo exclaimed, Using the skill, I immediately feel my body becoming lighter. After a while, Wang Bo found a chair to sit and rest. Running five kilometers took only nine minutes, with an average of less than two minutes per chem. Just relying on this alone, I could win the Olympic marathon. At this moment, a loud shout came. Old man, you don't know this place belongs to the Black Tiger Gang. Hearing it was the Black Tiger Gang, Wang Bo frowned and looked over. The girl yelled, Let my dad go. The old man, grabbed by the collar, trembled. Sorry, I really didn't know. Today's my first day setting up a stall here. Ignorance is no excuse. But now just pay the protection fee to us, and you'll be fine. Wang Bo muttered, Black Tiger Gang, isn't that the gang of people led by Dong Ji last time? So they're also playing the protection fee game. The bald man walked up and patted the moss-headed man. Hey, Ajay, don't stir things up and threaten people. Yes, sir, Zhang taught me. Zhang, the bald man, looked at the old man and said, Hey, old man, it's just a protection fee. I'll cover it for you. The old man's face turned pale. No need, I'll leave immediately. The people around, knowing they were from the Black Tiger Gang, couldn't help but feel afraid and didn't dare to get close. Wang Bo looked over. This Black Tiger gang is quite notorious. Seems like they've been making trouble here for a while. Zhang patted the old man's shoulder. It's all right. It's too strange. Your daughter looks very much like my younger sister, and she's already developed so much in school uniform. Too much. Let me check if her hormone development is too strong. Okay. Here. The old man panicked. Oh no, don't. She's not of age yet. This beastly thing. The moss-headed man held the old man tightly. You old bastard, mind your words. The girl closed her eyes and shouted, Don't, don't come over here. Wang Bo couldn't resist rolling up his sleeves. You dare to pull off such antics in broad daylight. Where's the law, huh? He, don't worry. Little sister, I'll handle this gently. As Zhang's hand moved to touch the girl's chest, another hand stopped him. Who the hell? The one who intervened wasn't Wang Bo but an old man. These young men, so strong yet bullying the elderly, threatening women, a waste of manhood. Bald Zhang shouted, You damn old man, do you know who I am? Let go or I'll break your mouth right now. The old man chuckled, Ha 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 ha, break my mouth. Let's see you try. Zhang, trembling, muttered, encountered a ghost. Why do I feel so powerless? Rohet yelled, Zhang, what are you waiting for? Beat him up, smash his mouth, dare to mess with the Black Tiger gang. The surrounding people were puzzled. Why isn't that bald Zhang moving? Others might not notice, but Wang Bo could see one thing. That bald Zhang wasn't unwilling to move, but unable to. The old man chuckled and asked, Why the silence now? The bravado you had when you said you'd smash my mouth earlier, where did it go? Zhang, grinding his teeth, looked at his gang. You idiots still standing there doing nothing. Hurry up and help me beat this old man to death. Do I have to do everything myself? Rohead released the old man and rushed forward. You damn old man. Tired of living, huh? Dare to challenge us. The old man stood still as the guy punched him in the face. Oh, not bad with martial arts, but lacking a bit of skill. Rohead's face turned pale. Does this old man know some dark magic? Hitting him in the face felt like hitting cotton, completely ineffective. Witchcraft? What nonsense in the 21st century, the youth nowadays, forgetting all the heritage left by our ancestors. Let me tell you, this is martial arts. Finishing his words, the old man unleashed two strikes, sending the other two flying, and silence fell around them. Wang Bo's eyes widened in astonishment. Wow, this old man is really formidable. The thugs, enraged, drew their knives. 
We'll show this old man the consequences of crossing the Black Tiger Gang. Deal with him, all of you. Tear him apart. The old man is foolish, isn't it better for him to live a few more years? He's just seeking death. The old man gracefully evaded. Ha ha, I'm truly tired of living, but no one can kill me. A strike landed off target, grazing the jaw of the blonde man, while another attacker lunged forward, taunting. You old bastard, I don't believe you can't be killed. A cowardly mouse with a tiger's mouth, feeble and powerless, wielding a knife like that. You should be careful not to injure yourself. Consider this a lesson for you. Ha 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 ha. Buffalo with buffalo. Horse with horse. Lying together is harmony. Zhang Trot grabbed the chair from nowhere, swinging it wildly. You old bastard, eat one of my chairs. The old man chuckled. A feeble mind and four undeveloped limbs. Can you even stand up? But before the old man could retaliate, Wine Bo rushed in. Great strength Vajra Palm. He struck hard at Zhang Trok's side, causing him to cry out in pain. While the old man looked on in astonishment, could this be the supreme great strength Vajra Palm of Shaolin? Impressive to have such power at a young age. Zhang Trok fell heavily to the ground, and onlookers cheered. You're awesome, really impressive. Those punks deserved a lesson. Wine Bo turned back and asked, Old sir, are you okay? Ha ha ha, no worries, the kid's got some skills. The old man, supported by his daughter, said, Thank you both for saving us, we're truly grateful. How can we repay you? No need, it's just an injustice we encountered. Wang Bo said, Sir, by offending them this time, I'm afraid they won't let it slide easily. Don't set up shop here anymore. Okay, we'll leave immediately. Realizing they had picked a tough straw, the Black Tiger gang members beat a hasty retreat. Jung Trok, attempting to flee, was called back by Wang Bo. Hey, Baldy, causing trouble, and then wanting to run. I haven't finished with you yet. John Trock, terrified, held his head. Spare me, big bro. Don't hit me. Ha ha, look at how scared you are. Wine Bo thought, by offending them this time, they'll surely come looking for us. Let's give them a scare. Then he said, I know this is Black Tiger gang territory, but it's not right to bully people like that. Yes, yes, big bro taught me well. I won't dare anymore. May I ask, big bro, and the old gentleman, which martial arts school do you belong to? Why did you eavesdrop on our conversation to seek revenge? No, I'm not associated with any gang, but remember my name, Wang Bo. Oh, I don't know your esteemed name, but those guys don't deserve to hear it. I'll tell you later, so they'll leave. Baldi, did you hear that? The old man said to Scram. John Trot broke out in a cold sweat and replied, I understand. I'll leave immediately. Only now did John Trock startle himself. He said his name is Wang Bo, not the person Dong Ji wanted to deal with before. I heard he not only has good martial arts skills, but also shot Dong Ji, causing our boss to still be hospitalized. I didn't expect that after surviving that disaster, I would directly encounter him this time. Running away seems like the best option. Wang Bo called out again. Hey, Baldi. John Trock quickly stammered. Do you have any other instructions? Or are you deaf or pretending not to hear? Yes, sir. I'll leave immediately. Seeing this scene, everyone burst into laughter. Ha 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 ha. Who would have thought Black Tiger Gang would have such a day? The two heroes are so cool. The kind-hearted old man reminded, Young people, you've offended the Black Tiger Gang. They won't let it go easily. You two should leave quickly. Yes, it's better to protect yourselves. Thank you all for the reminder. I'll leave first. The other old man spoke up, Wine Bo, would you like to have a cup of tea with me? Wine Bo smiled, of course I'd be honored. A moment later, the two raised their teacups together. From what I see, your great strength, Vajra Palm, seems to have reached the second level, right? I wonder how old you are this year. Wine Bo was deeply impressed. Indeed, this senior is truly skilled, even discussing techniques at such a high level. Yes, I am 21 years old this year still a student, to have mastered such profound skills, at 21, truly admirable. Senior, you flatter me too much. Being able to execute the Tai Chai fist and the pure Vajra palm so skillfully, I am truly impressed. Senior's praise is excessive. It's me who admires you. Since you praised me so much, may I ask for a favor? I wonder if you would agree. Wang Bo responded eagerly. Senior, please speak. 
If I can assist you, it would be an honor. I'd like to exchange techniques with my Tai Chi fist against your great strength Vajra Palm. Wang Bo was taken aback. That wouldn't be appropriate. My great strength Vajra Palm is pure power, quite easy to cause harm. But rest assured, my Tai Chi fist is not just a name. You won't hurt me. That's settled. I hope for your guidance, senior. Just now, Wang Bo also sensed the aura on this senior, realizing he also wanted to spar for a while, albeit not at full strength. The elder waved his hand. You go first, my numb friend. If you strike first, I won't have a chance anymore. Still, you go ahead first. Don't worry, you won't harm me, so there's no need for courtesy. You go ahead and make your move. Wang Bo thought to himself. Use only 30% of strength to probe first. His hand, utilizing the great strength Vandra Palm, moved forward, but the old man pushed it aside. Then, his hand circled Wang Bo's wrist, neutralizing the attack. Wang Bo was astonished. Too fast, I couldn't even see his movements clearly. The elder then struck out with a palm straight to Wang Bo's abdomen, causing him to stagger backward. A gentle strike could push him meters away. He looked amazed. The senior is truly skilled. It seems he's holding back a bit. Otherwise, I'd be lying on the ground by now. The elder said, Take it easy. This is the wonder of Tai Chi Fist. You didn't use your full strength. It's as if you underestimate me. Wang Bo clasped his hands. I apologize, senior, for my arrogance. From now on, I'll show proper respect. I'll use my full strength. Ha ha. Indeed, there's no need for courtesy. Let's spar. Please continue to guide me, senior. With a light shout, Wang Bo rushed forward. After a while, the elder poured a cup of tea for Wang Bo. Well done, my friend. Today's sparring was refreshing. Wang Bo, with bruises on his face, smiled. Thank you for your teachings, senior. To cultivate internal strength to this level at such a young age shows great talent. But your techniques lack flexibility. You were injured by me because of your lack of real combat experience. To fully unleash the power of the great strength Vajra Palm, you need more practical combat experience. Wang Bo chuckled and scratched his head. Senior, your teachings are invaluable. After our recent sparing session, I have a request. Though I'm not sure if I should ask. Haha, please go ahead, my friend. I want to learn the Tai Chi fist from you. I wonder if you would accept me as your disciple. Oh, you haven't even completed mastering the great strength Vajra Palm, and now you want to learn Tai Chi Fist. Aren't you worried it might affect your practice of the great strength Vajra Palm? Wang Bo immediately stood up, clasping his hands. Please rest assured about this matter, senior. I absolutely won't abandon my practice of the great strength Vajra Palm. I've noticed that while the great strength Vajra Palm is indeed powerful, it relies solely on physical strength. Against a stronger opponent, it may fail. Tai Chi Fist, however, is different. It can advance for offense and retreat for defense, and it can even borrow force to attack. I believe Tai Chi Fist can complement the weaknesses of the great strength Vajra Palm and enhance its control without fear of injuring others. Mm. You have a unique perspective. The great strength Vajra Palm is a martial art that emphasizes masculine energy, but it's also a martial art of Buddhist practitioners embodying the compassionate spirit of Buddhism. Yet, you don't let your mastery make you arrogant, and you're even concerned about harming others. It shows that your character is not bad. Therefore, I will accept you as my disciple. Wang Bo exclaimed excitedly, Really? That's wonderful. Thank you. Master, please accept this bow from your disciple. The old master chuckled and helped Wang Bo up. Ha ha, there's no need for excessive formality. I have something to tell you. Unexpectedly, after going out for a stroll, the old master picked up a precious disciple. My real name is Lai Zhengo, and the martial arts I practice are family heritage, usually not passed down to outsiders. Wang Bo thought to himself, not passed down to outsiders? If it's passed down to me, it means he considers me as family. Rest assured, master, from now on, I will dedicate myself to learning the martial arts, never betraying your trust. How much progress I make will be my own determination. But if, after I am accepted, I do may think shameful or unethical, then I shall accept the consequences. Wang Bo broke into a cold sweat. The pressure is intense. The way master handles things is truly that of a grand master. I have a mistaken in choosing him as my master. He pledged, Yes, master, 
I will never do anything to disgrace my martial family, nor will I act against my conscience. All right, there's no need to be so cautious in front of me. Pour me a cup of tea and complete the bowing ceremony, please. Yes, master, here it is. Take your time. Look at how happy you are, as if you found gold. Being accepted as your disciple is even more joyful than finding gold. Afterwards, Wang Bo took his two friends to the car dealership. Lai Ping asked, Wang Bo, do you really want to buy luxury cars for both of us? Isn't it a bit extravagant? Buying cars for both of us is to enhance work productivity. Besides, as shareholders of the company, purchasing luxury cars is more fitting for our status. So Wang Bo, what kind of car do you want? He he, I've already thought about it. I want to buy a big, really big touring car, a big Jin Bay. Hong Fei was astonished. Jin Bay? You're buying us luxury cars, yet you're only getting yourself a Jin Bay. Have you gone crazy because of Sutton Wealth? He he, I have my own way of thinking. Xiao Yu, there are many people like them. If we want to ride together in one car, then Jim Bay is the most suitable. They'll definitely be very happy. This store isn't bad. They have cars from every brand. Let's go take a look. Wow, this off-road vehicle looks so cool. It must be very expensive. If it weren't for Wang Bo, we wouldn't even have the courage to come here. At that moment, Wang Bo was drawn to a scolding voice. How many times do I have to tell you? If there are customers coming in, you must call me to greet them. The male employee stammered as he explained. But you said that while you were resting and having tea, you didn't want to be disturbed for anything. The female employee poked her finger into the chest of the male employee. What are you saying, I'm lazy? Are you trying to hog all the credit for yourself? You're just a probationary employee. Adjust your attitude towards me. If you let me know you're selfishly entertaining walk-in customers, see how I deal with you. Sorry, manager. I'll remember. It won't happen again. Wang Bo felt his ears itching with disgust. If there are customers, you should yield to the experienced staff. It's absolutely appalling. The working environment is indeed ruthless. Approaching, Wang Bo spoke up. Sorry to bother you both, but could you introduce some cars with different features? My friend and I are interested in buying different types. Meanwhile, Hong Fei was asking Lai Ping to take some virtual reality photos when the female manager yelled out, Hey, you two over there. What are you leaning on the car for? Do you have any idea how expensive that car is? Keep your hands off it. A scratch would be irreparable. Embarrassed, Hong Fei stammered. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to. The female manager assessed them. The one in the red shirt looks like he's from the countryside. Can't even tell which brand it is. The pants are quite ordinary, probably bought off the street. The shoes are okay, but nothing special. She scoffed. Seems like just regular students. You need to understand, we don't sell bicycles here. We sell million-dollar cars. Wang Bo, feeling annoyed, asked, What's your point? Should I know what's sold here? Do you think I can't afford it? Fine. Whether I can afford it or not is for me to know. Don't touch if you can't afford it. You won't be able to pay for any damage. Xiao Lai, I'll leave these customers to you. Don't blame me for not reminding you. If you don't meet the monthly target, You'll be packing your bags. Xiao Li politely stepped forward. Please calm down. She's always like that. Don't take it to heart. Let me take you to see the cars. Speaking of which, when she said not meeting the target means you have to leave, how much are you short of meeting the target? Xiao Li sighed. Honestly, I can't hide it. I'm quite far from meeting the target this month. Don't worry. As long as you introduce us well, I'll ensure that you meet your target. Not bad. Here's the four-seater CLS priced at 630000 Wang Bo chuckled. This one isn't bad at all. Really cool. Let me take a picture. Hong Fei interjected. Wang Bo, I feel like we don't need to buy such expensive cars. As long as we do our duties right, keep our integrity, we can do well. No need for luxury cars. Yeah, what you said makes sense. Let's look for other cars. Wang Bo turned to Xiao Lai. Is there a more expensive car than this one? The other two couldn't help but exclaim. Wang Bo, are you crazy? Hey, listen to me, both of you, don't hold back. You've been good to me, like real brothers. I won't forget how good you've been to me. Now it's my turn to repay this kindness, and you can't refuse. This is just a little money. In the future, I'll make sure both of you earn even more, become billionaires. Hong Fei and Lai Ping were deeply moved. 
Wow, you guys are true brothers. Wang Bo, I'm so touched. We're brothers for life. Wang Bo, I must repay you for your kindness. Xiao Lai, witnessing the camaraderie of the three, couldn't help but be moved too. This brotherhood is truly admirable. But can they really afford a more expensive car? Wang, this is a four-seater Mercedes, priced at 970000 Do you think it's suitable? Wang Bo pondered, I like this brand, but 970000 is still too cheap. Is there any car over $1 million? This is the most expensive one in our dealership. What do you think? Seeing the sparkling eyes of Hong Fei, Wang Bo said, If you like it, give it a try. Xiao Lai walked over to open the car door. Exactly, don't be shy. Everyone, hop in and give it a try. Hong Fei eagerly jumped into the car. There's nothing like a luxury car. Come on, everyone, try it out. Lai Ping scratched his head and walked over. I want to try too. Except for my dad's car. I've never ridden in such a luxurious car before. Wang Bo nodded in satisfaction. After Xiao Lai quoted the price of 2.3 million, Lai Ping exclaimed, 2.3 million? Why didn't you say so earlier? If I had known, I wouldn't have hesitated. At this moment, the manager came out shouting, Hey, what are you all doing? Are you planning to buy a car here? And someone is inside, coming out here, sitting on the car like this. Isn't it just for a brief moment? Is there a need to be so aggressive? Wang Bo tapped on the car door and said, It's all right, keep looking. Sit in whichever one you like. Let me handle this woman. The stubborn manager stood in front of Xiao Lai. What's wrong with you? You can tell just by looking that these people can't afford to buy a car. Just take them to see some cheaper cars. Do I need to teach you this? How dare you take them to see million-dollar cars? Can they afford it? Are you out of your mind? Xiao Lai hesitated. But they are customers. We should. Lai Ping couldn't help but interject. Hey, you're going too far. You're offending people. Wang Bo whispered to Hong Fei. Help me deal with her in a bit. The manager narrowed her eyes. I'm telling you students, if you don't have money, don't come here to test drive. Leave now, or I'll call security to kick you out. Lai Ping angrily pointed. What kind of attitude is this? Don't you know the customer is God? How can you do business like this? I will file a complaint against you. Wang Bo pulled Lai Ping's hand. Don't get angry because of people like her. Let her make the call. She's barking up the wrong tree. Stay calm and let her make the call. Let's see how I deal with her. The security guards, noticing the commotion inside, approached and inquired. Manager, what's going on? You arrived just in time. These guys are here to cause trouble, affecting our store. Get them out quickly. Chell Lee's voice trembled. Manager, they are customers. You shouldn't. Step aside. It's your turn to talk. The two security guards marched toward Wangbo and shouted, we don't welcome you here. Leave now. If you don't cooperate, don't blame us for being impolite. Lai Ping fumed. We're not going anywhere. If you're tough, try to touch us. Wang Bo smirked. Seems like a familiar scene. If I don't leave, this punk will keep harassing us, right? Fine. If I don't leave, I'll drag you out. The security guard was about to grab Wang Bo's collar when suddenly Wang Bo pushed forward, delivering two straight punches to their chests. The two guards tumbled backward with dumbfounded expressions. Lai Ping, his face pale, tremblingly exclaimed, Wang Bo, when did you become so formidable? That was impressive. I'm all in now. The manager, filled with fear, exclaimed, You dare to hit our staff, you despicable coward. Today, you will bear the consequences. I demand you compensate for damages immediately, or I'll call the police. With a grunt, Wang Bo tossed a gold ingot. Is this gold enough for compensation? You're the ones who wanted to act first. We came here to buy a car, only to encounter troublemakers like you security guards. Even if you really call the police, we aren't afraid. My brothers have all returned. This poor, foolish student must have watched too many movies, thinking I'd be easily fooled like that brat. The security guard tremblingly took the gold ingot. Manager, this gold seems to be real. Upon hearing this, the manager broke into a cold sweat. Could they really be the owners pretending? Pretense and its consequences. Lai Ping Han Fei, remember this. No matter who comes to our store, we must not neglect them. Rest assured, we are not the kind to judge by appearances. Little sister, today Wang Bo has taught you a lesson. 
Every visitor is a guest. Your greed has tarnished the honor of our store. The manager, enraged, gritted his teeth. You're flaunting your authority. Our store doesn't welcome guests like you. Shell Lai couldn't hold back any longer. Manager, you're going too far. What kind of attitude is that, taking their side? Do you believe I won't get you fired from the head office? No need to fire me. I resign on my own. Fine. Don't expect to work in another 4S store in the future. I thought that by treating customers with sincerity and offering appropriate advice, I can excel in this job. But if achieving success means becoming like you, I'd rather change professions. You understand nothing. Wang Bo stepped forward and grabbed Xiao Lai's shoulder. Hold on. My brothers still want to buy cars. Please continue to advise us. I'm sorry, Mr. Wang. I'm no longer an employee here. I can't serve you guys. Every profession has its pitfalls. Don't become one of them. I want to buy three cars from this brand. All of them must be the highest-end models, and each car must have a different color. Xiao Lai was stunned. Three, three cars. The manager still retorted. I'm just saying you want to show off. Each of these cars costs two million, and you want three. Wang Bo handed his phone to Xiao Lai. Enter the company's account number. I'll make the payment right away. Hong Fei held out his phone. Little sister, wait a moment. We'll report the rudeness of your other customer to the headquarters. The one who should be fired is you. If you're not customers of our store, I would have called the police already, saying you're causing trouble. The security guard came to the counter to check the transaction nervously. Manager, there was indeed 7 million transferred to the store's account just now. The manager hastily pushed the security guard aside to verify. Is it real or fake? Step back and let me see. Upon seeing that the sender was Wang Bo, the manager finally believed it. Her eyes widened in surprise. Oh my, transferred all at once again. Just the commission from this deal is enough for me to buy a house up front. Wang Bo calmly said, Xiao Lai, help me with the paperwork for the car. Wait here for a moment, Mr. Wang. At this moment, the manager's voice boomed out. Esteemed customer, congratulations on becoming a VIP customer of our store. We sincerely apologize for the earlier mistake. Please forgive us. From now on, you will experience the best service from our store. Wang Bo glanced. Now you realize your mistake. But is it too late? Turning around as soon as you see the money, without any sincerity. Now you want us to forgive you. This kind of person should be reported to higher authorities. The manager pleaded. Please don't. If the higher-ups know I've been complained about by a VIP, I won't be able to keep my position as the manager. Please forgive me. Please let it go. Whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Wang Bo smirked. Are you being honest? Fine then. Anything goes. As the manager spoke, she nervously adjusted her collar. Wang Bo replied coldly, Then hand over all the commission from this transaction to Xiao Lai. Xiao Lai, touched. Tears welled up. Everything for me. I'll stick with this till the end. Don't try to play tricks with me, or make things difficult for this friend of mine, or else you'll pay the price. The manager's voice trembled. Yes, I understand. Some her hundreds of thousands in commission went down the drain. You brought this upon yourself. Wang Bo let out a sigh and left, leaving the manager powerless, collapsing to the ground. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you enjoyed the content, please don't hesitate to hit the like and share buttons. Your support is a huge motivation for me to continue creating more videos. Additionally, there are many other interesting story videos on my channel, so feel free to check them out. Thank you.